question is given x square minus 2 is equal to square root of x plus 2 so we have to find out the value of x here how we can find out the value of x let's see solution x square minus 2 is equal to square root of x plus 2 this is question right so uh, to cancel this square root we can take a square on both sides so taking square on both sides we will get here x square minus 2 whole square is equal to square root of x plus 2 whole square right we are taking square on both sides so it will become here a minus b whole square formula so a square minus 2ab plus b square now we are applying that formula so we will get here a square that is x square and square so x power 4 x power 4 minus 2 times a a is this one b so 2 times 2 times x square 2ab right plus b square b is 2 so 2 to the 4 is equal to now this square is cancelled from this square root so it, uh, it will become here x plus 2 now x power 4 minus 2 times 2 times x square so it, uh, we can write this one as it is 2 times 2 times x square plus 4 minus x this one minus 2 equal to 0 we are converting in equation form now we have to consider here let uh, 2 this is 2 right so 2 equal to t so let's consider let here t equal to 2 so if you are considering this 2 as t so we can write this one this equation x power 4 minus 2 this one times this is 2 so 2t x square plus this is uh, 4 so t is 2 so we can write t square so t square minus x minus 2 is equal to 0 now we can write this uh, equation here t square minus 2t x square so 2t x square minus t minus t minus t this one is t also here right so minus t plus x square this one plus x square uh, sorry x power 4 plus x power 4 this one because here this one x power 4 minus x this one is equal to 0 now t square minus t we can take here common t so left term that is 2x square so 2x square plus 1 why because minus plus minus plus x power 4 minus x is equal to 0 now we uh, if we are considering this is uh, a square minus bx plus c equal to 0 so we can consider this one is a and this is b and this one is c right this one is c now we are using formula here so d is equal to b square minus 4ac so we can substitute this value b b is here 2x square plus 1 so we can write this one 2x square plus 1 whole square minus 4 times a is 1 times c c is here x power 4 minus x so x power 4 minus x right c so we can write this one 2 to the 4 4 x power 4 plus 4 x square plus 1 minus 4 x power 4 plus 4 x this one 4 x now is equal to now you can see this is 4 x power 4 and this is minus 4 x power 4 so it will become cancelled from here so left term that is 4 x square plus 1 plus 4 x so we can write this one 4 x square plus 4 x plus 1 now we know that d is equal to 2 x this is a form of 2 x plus 1 
right whole square if you are taking this one 2x plus 1 whole square is so 2 a square means uh, 2 to the 4 x square a square plus b square is 1 plus 2 times a b 2 times 2 is 4 x right so we can write this term as in this form 2x plus 1 whole square so this is the value of d right so when we are taking square root of d so this square is cancelled from here so we are taking square root on both sides of so 2x plus 1 whole square now so this square is cancelled from this square root so value of square root of d is equal to 2x plus 1 right this is the value of d mod of 2x plus 1 therefore we can say t1 t2 is equal to minus b plus minus square root of d divided by 2 times a 2a right now is equal to minus b so we can write this one 2x square 2x square plus 1 plus minus 2x plus 1 right 2x plus 1 divided by 2 times 1 now it will become here so we can say t1 we are taking t1 so t1 is equal to 2x square plus 1 plus 2x plus 1 now divided by 2 now, is equal to 2x square plus 1 plus 2x plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to now we can write this one 2x square plus 2x this one plus 1 plus 1 is 2 divided by 2 now we can take common to here so x square plus x plus 1 divided by 2 now this 2 is cancelled from this 2 so we can say value of t1 is equal to x square plus x plus 1 this is the value of t1 because uh, you know that here this is the value of t1 and t2 plus minus so in t1 we are getting plus sign now in t2 we are getting here we, uh, we will take here a minus sign so when we are taking t2 so this is the formula for t2 t2 is equal to 2x square plus 1 minus right minus 2x plus 1 divided by 2 times a that is 1 so here is equal to we can write 2x square plus 1 minus 2x minus 1 divided by 2 now here plus 1 here minus 1 so we can cancel this one now we will get here 2x square minus 2x divided by 2 now we can take here a common 2 so left term that is x square minus x divided by 2 so this 2 is cancelled from this 2 so we can say here t2 is equal to t2 is equal to x square minus x this is the value of t2 but we know that t1 is equal to we already considered that value of t value of t is equal to 2 right t is equal to 2 we already considered this value now we have to substitute in case 1 that is t1 so we can say here from case 1 t1 is equal to value of now t1 is equal to x square plus x plus 1 right so x square plus x plus 1 now value of t is 2 so t1 is also 2 so we can write here 2 is equal to x square plus x plus 1 so we can write this one x square plus x plus 1 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now x square plus x now plus 1 minus 2. So it will become minus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is the equation form. So we can now we have to uh, find out the value of d. So d is equal to we already know that formula b square minus 4ac. Now b square. So value of b is here coefficient of x that is 1 so we can write here 1 square minus 4 times a is 1 1 times c is minus 1 so it will become here minus 1 now is equal to 1 square now minus minus it will become here plus so plus 4 is equal to 5 this is the value of d here d is equal to 5 right now 
so we can say here value of x1 value of x1 is equal to 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2 now this is the value of x uh, this is the value of x so we can say x1 is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and value of x2 is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so this is the value of x1 and x2 now from case 2 we are taking t2 so from case 2 t2 is equal to x square minus x right now value of t is 2 here x square minus x so we can write this one x square minus x minus 2 is equal to 0 here coefficient of x square that is a equal to 1 b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to uh, minus 2 right now we are using formula so d is equal to first value of d is equal to b square minus 4ac this is formula now value of b, uh, b square b is minus 1 so equal to minus 1 square minus 4 times a is 1 times c is minus 2 is equal to 1 and here minus minus plus 4 to the 8 is equal to 1 plus 8 is 9 this is the value of d so square root of d is equal to square root of 9 we can say now value of x we have to find out so value of x is equal to from t2 we can say here formula that is 1 plus minus square root of 9 that is square root of d divided by 2 is equal to 1 plus minus square root of 9 is 3 right divided by 2 so this is the value of x now we have to find out the value of x3 and x4 so x3 is equal to we can say 1 plus 3 divided by 2 this is the value of x3 and x4 is equal to 1 minus 3 divided by 2 so here uh, x3 is equal to 1 plus 3 is 4 divided by 2 2 to the 4 so value of x3 is equal to 2 this is the value of x3 from case 2 that is uh, when we are taking value of t is equal to 2 t2 from t2 so here x4 now x4 is equal to 1 minus 3 so 1 minus 3 is minus 2 divided by 2 so we can say x4 is equal to 2 1 ja, 2 minus 1 x4 is equal to minus 1 this is the value of x4 right so uh, this is the value of x1 x2 x3 and x4 let's verify for x3 and x4 is this correct or not so let's verify this value you can verify for x1 x2 also but that is imaginary solution so it will take time so you can take x3 and x4 so when we are taking x3 and x4 so let's start so your question is x square minus 2 is equal to square root of x plus 2 so first we are taking x3 if x is equal to if x is equal to 2 so here x square that is 2 square minus 2 is equal to we have question mark here square root of x is 2 plus 2 so 2 to the 4 minus 2 square root here square root of 4 2 plus 2 4 now 4 minus 2 so 4 minus 2 is 2 and here equal to square root of 4 value of square root of 4 is 2 right so we can say here LHS is equal to RHS so value of x is equal to 2 this is correct solution for this equation and we can solve for next one that is uh, x4 that is minus 1 next solution that is x4 equal to minus 1 so we are taking here if value of x is equal to minus 1 so let's verify this value so question is x square minus 2 is equal to square root of x plus 2 right so here we have to substitute this value minus 1 so minus 1 whole square minus 2 question mark square root of here x is minus 1 plus 2 right so we can say this one is minus 1 square that is 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 question mark here square root of 2 minus 1 so square root of here it will become here so here minus 1 plus 2 so minus 1 plus 2 is here it will become 1 square root of 1 1 minus 2 is here 1 right sorry minus 1 and here question mark square root of 1 is 1 so we can say here minus 1 is not equal to 1 
therefore here we can say LHS is not equal to RHS so this value is rejected here so finally we uh, got value of uh, x1 is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 x2 is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and uh, x3 equal to 2 x4 is equal to minus 1 so only one solution that is x3 is equal to 2 this is exist and uh, remaining that is x1 and x2 this is imaginary solution and x4 is not equal to here um, uh, for so this is rejected so this is the solution thank you